Hello and welcome to this special edition of Credit Matters TV. My name is Ale Limtiako, Associate Director in the Housing Enterprises and Structured Securities Group. We're here today at the Affordable Multifamily Housing Hot Topics event in San Francisco. And here with me I have Saeed Hajarazadeh, Deputy Director of Vancouver Housing Authority. And he spoke on the panel, Success and Challenges Facing Public Housing Authorities. Saeed, thanks for joining us. Hi, Ali. Hi. So Vancouver Housing Authority has an issuer credit rating of AA, which is one of the highest issuer credit ratings that we have assigned for a public housing authority. How has this affected your organization? A few years ago, we, uh, uh, we were looking for some financing, and uh, uh, a financial consultant with HUD recommended that we get a rating. Uh, we did that in 2010 and uh, we were rated uh, A plus at that point. And uh, we were pleased to receive the rating we got. Uh, the process that we went through to get the rating was very helpful to the housing authority. We, a couple of our projects had already had, multifamily projects had had some uh, S&P ratings, but we didn't have an agency rating. Okay. So it really opened the doors for us and particularly as the uh, recession hit and the credit markets tightened up, uh, going out and looking for financing, it helped to have a standard poor's rating. And I, I think that helped us in securing uh, financing. And we've, we've uh, financed about three more projects since 2011 when we got the rating. Oh, great. Well, that's great to hear. And it sounds like you got an upgrade um, from the initial level. Yes, I think we, we've right. maintained our uh, uh, a very good board of commissioners, very knowledgeable. Uh, we, uh, we have a lot of good policies in place. Uh, the S&P has looked at that. We have quite a bit of longevity within the housing authority, a lot of good people that run the organization. So I think S&P uh, you know, gave us, uh, I think took that in consideration, we hope. <laughs> Well, good. Um, it's, it's good to hear that it's, it's helped you, you know, in your financing endeavors. Mm -hmm. um, how has Vancouver Housing Authority been able to increase the number of rental units that you provide on a consistent basis? The Housing Authority uh, has been pretty progressive in uh, being able to uh, build multi affordable multifamily properties within Vancouver, Washington, and Clark County. Uh, we started that in the early 90s. Uh, there was a, a, a quite an effort to uh, not rely so much on federal funding, and one way to do that was to uh, build or acquire existing housing and using tax exempt bonds and tax credits to, to use as financing, and that's what we've done, and we've been pretty consistent over time, and since then we've uh, averaged about 80 units per year we've added to our inventory. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last, since the recession, we've uh, actually uh, uh, disposed of a couple of properties uh, that had uh, made their life cycle through the tax credit program. And uh, uh, it was time to uh, rehab them and put them back on the market. And uh, there were a lot of interested folks who wanted to do that, uh, private sector folks. So we've done that. So. Uh, but as we disposed of property, we've also added new inventory. So we're, right now we're in a construction of a 150-unit family project. Uh, and what's unique about this one is that it's 75% uh, uh, tax credit, but 25% market rate. And that made it uh, a lot more uh, competitive for us and in terms of being able to make sure that we could uh, be able to pay debt in the long term and make it a, a long-term viable project. And how many units overall does Vancouver Housing Authority have in its portfolio? Right now, we, uh, we uh, are an agency of about 6,000 units. We have 2,600 okay. vouchers and the rest of the properties that we own. We don't have a large public housing portfolio uh, where uh, we used the RAD uh, financing mm -hmm. option recently. And we still, so we only have an, an, 150 public housing units left. Okay. But we have some other. Uh, a HUD funded project, we have several senior projects, senior uh, uh, project 202s, uh, and we have about a 2,500 uh, unit portfolio of affordable housing that's financed with tax credits and bonds. 
Okay, and, and you've been designated by HUD as a moving to work agency. How mm -hmm. is that, um, how have you been able to leverage that status? We've, we were one of the early um, uh, uh, participants in the moving to work uh, program. Uh, which started uh, back in 1999. That's where the the the, uh, the law was put in place in I believe 1996. But we okay. became an agency, and it took had a couple of years to uh, get everybody ready and 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 go through the competitive process of selecting uh, agencies. There were at the time I think there were 10, and today there is uh, uh, 35 or so housing authorities that are MPW agencies. What we've done with our moving to work authority and with, uh, with the, f um, there are mainly two things that are, uh, make up the moving to work uh, designation. And one is funding flexibility. So we receive uh, Section 8 housing voucher mm -hmm. uh, funding, public housing and capital fund. And as a moving to work agency, we can combine uh, those uh, funds. We, so we use the fungibility between funds uh, where non uh, move to work housing authority wouldn't be able to do that. They have to keep funds within the uh, particular programs. So that's a big uh, flexibility that we've, we're able to do. The other thing that we're able to do as a moving to work agency is to um, get away from uh, federal regulations a little bit. So mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the Housing Act and how we're able to uh, introduce some new ideas, particularly in terms of how we uh, charge rent and whether we create time limits for assistance, things like that. And we've experimented with um, uh, several different ideas. The latest thing that we're doing with our Moving to Work Authority is uh, that if, if a family has no reported income, uh, we still will charge them some rent assuming that they, they have some income. Uh, and that's how the rent is based. Uh, but with that, we understand that raising rents for, for tenants who, who, haven't been, who haven't paid rent or haven't been working mm -hmm. is a difficult thing. So what we've done is we're, uh, we've identified those families and coupled them with other social service agencies and where they could find work. Uh, we've connected them with um, education and training. Uh, we actually sponsor some training ourselves, the Housing Authority does. And uh, we're, um, uh, we have uh, designated some FTEs just working with residents to help them find work and really work through their uh, problems. It's not always finding work. It's, it's sometimes it's other issues that prevent people from uh, working. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and by the way, uh, these restrictions are on only on folks that are who are we have identified as work able, so folks that are uh, disabled, unable to work, or elderly, uh, are exempt from those requirements. Okay, so it sounds like the moving to work designation has helped you, maybe you leverage, um, you know, some areas or or um, you know work within a kind of a difficult market environment to help provide the you know affordable housing that meets your mission. Exactly. I mean, HUD's idea was to sort of create a, a, a platform for, for housing, so these selected housing authorities to provide uh, housing uh, subsidy in, in a different way mm -hmm. and see uh, whether that moved people to work, mm -hmm. did that encourage people to work, because there has been, there's been a, uh, a history and a, 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 a really a bad reputation, I, I might say, about uh, with, with public housing and mm -hmm. public housing residents. And uh, what we're finding is that uh, uh, being poor and needing um, housing help is very stressful mm -hmm. for our clients. And so recognizing that and being able to help them work through some of their issues is, is, the, be is the thing that we, sh we should do. And moving to work has allowed us some flexibility so that we could spend a little bit of service dollars on our residents to help them and particularly help them connect with, like I said earlier, education, training. Uh, we have a, a big focus on our youth. Uh, we, 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 uh, we, we definitely understand the, the, uh, the uh, cycles of poverty that can, that can be created. Mm -hmm. And we're, uh, one way that we, we believe and we've been successful in doing that is to uh, 
help parents and children with uh, understanding the importance of school and, and, and uh, not just finishing high school, but also secondary education. Mm -hmm. We're emphasizing that a lot. A lot of our kids, uh, uh, as smart as they might be, don't even consider going to college only because they just don't know. Mm -hmm. They just don't know. Their families aren't, haven't been to school. So uh, it's provided us a lot of flexibility. Okay, great. And, um, you know, are there other lessons uh, that, you know, other housing authorities can maybe learn from your successes? Um, you know, in those areas? Uh, certainly, we, uh, uh, as, a, I mean, not just, not just uh, our agency, but moving to work agencies in, in, as a group uh, have experimented with a lot of different ideas in terms of finding efficiencies in running housing programs. And, uh, and, and a lot of those have actually been shared with HUD and uh, uh, nationally, sort of through the HUD website. And, uh, through uh, conferences and uh, training sessions, and some of those ideas have already uh, been used in uh, by non-move to work housing authorities, mm -hmm. and also been uh, used in uh, proposed legislation, housing legislation that's uh, that we hope to be uh, working on. So uh, the work of moving to work uh, housing authorities, uh, in my opinion, has been uh, uh, a good investment. Well, it sounds like Van Vancouver Housing Authority has had some great successes, um, and uh, we thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much.